Hello, Liberty family and friends. This is Pastor Andy Buchanan of the Liberty Baptist Church in Hartwell, Georgia. I uh, just want to share some devotional thoughts for this week, what is uh, commonly called the Passion Week of our Lord Jesus. And so I want to look at uh, a few uh, incidents in the last week of Jesus before his crucifixion. And today, for Monday, April the 6th, I'd like us to look in the book of Matthew, chapter 21. Uh, in chapter 21, uh, one scholar has said that it emphasizes Christ's lordship. And uh, as we look at chapter 1, if we break down the first part of it, and chapter 21 begins with the triumphal entry of, Jeru of Jesus into Jerusalem. And that triumphal entry um, just re reflects on the fact that Jesus is king of the city, a king of the city. Uh, and the second incident after that, we have Jesus cleansing the temple in verses 12 through 17. And that act reminds us that Jesus is king of the temple. And then finally, in verses 18 through 22, we see Jesus cursing the fig tree. And that reminds us that Jesus is king of creation. So as we're looking in this scripture today, we're going to focus in on verses 12 through 17, the cleansing of the temple. And uh, we're going to begin in verse 12. This is Matthew chapter 21. Let me begin reading for us in verse 12. It says, And Jesus entered the temple and drove out all those who were buying and selling in the temple and overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who were selling doves. And he said to them, It is written, My house shall be called a house of prayer, but you are making it a robber's den. And the blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he healed them. But when the chief priests and the scribes saw the wonderful things that he had done, and the children who were shouting in the temple, Hosanna to the son of David, they became indignant and said to him, Do you hear what these children are saying? And Jesus said to them, Yes, have you never read out of the mouth of infants and nursing babies you have prepared praise for yourself? And he left them and went out of the city to Bethany and spent the night there. One of the things that I want to point out just from this incident, and there are several things that could be pointed out, is the fact that Jesus said, My house shall be called a house of prayer. Now we know that the temple of the Lord is no longer a building, but rather it is the, the body of each and every person who is a Christian, who is one of God's children. Uh, if you're a believer, your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And Jesus says, my house shall be called a house of prayer. You know, there are many things that we can do with our bodies, a lot of things that we put into our bodies, and a lot of things that come out through our mouth. And it is very important that we make sure that we acknowledge Christ's lordship even over our bodies, and in particular in this area of prayer. I think this week, as we're going through Passion Week, as we're being reminded of uh, the final days of Jesus before his crucifixion, it would be important to see the things that Jesus emphasized. And so I want to encourage you to make this a time of prayer, uh, particularly in the situation in which we find ourselves with the coronavirus and the, um, just the, the temptation to, to be uh, anxious. Uh, may we use this as an opportunity to pray to the Lord, to thank him for what he's provided, to intercede for our brothers and sisters in Christ, to intercede for those who do not know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And may we not be known as a people of prayer. May you be known as a person of prayer. May I be known as a person of prayer. So today, Monday, April the 6th, I want to encourage you in, in this regard uh, to follow and to listen to the words of Jesus. May you be, may I be, people, our bodies, temples of prayer. I pray that God would bless these words to your heart today. And as we continue looking through the events, some of the events from uh, the Passion Week of Christ, that you would be encouraged as we look forward to Sunday once again celebrating his resurrection. And, and indeed, every Sunday that we gather together is an opportunity to celebrate his resurrection. And even though we may not be able to gather together, we can gather around the truth and rejoice in the fact that Jesus is alive. Well, God bless, and may God give you a good and godly day today as you seek to serve Him. This is Pastor Andy Buchanan, Liberty Baptist Church.